and Ed. In today's video, we visit a location that is said to be once a home to a cannibal family. So most historians do tend to believe Bean never existed, or that the story has just been greatly exaggerated. It has passed into local folklore and become part of Edinburgh's tourism circuit, and it's also said that Wes Craven used Swanley Bean as the inspiration of his film, The Hills of Eyes. And so living in the sea cave on the coast of Galloway, Bean's family grew. According to the legend, he had eight sons, six daughters, 18 grandsons and 14 granddaughters, all of whom were products of incest. Now together, the Bean family robbed, murdered and ate their victims, and remains were pickled, and even sometimes the discarded parts were washed up on shore. Follow my adventures by subscribing below, hit that bell to stay notified, and let's adventure, let's explore, and let's create. So we're just battling our way through all of this here guys, and honestly it's as, uh, it's as deep as me, there's fawns, there's nettles, it's stung god knows how many times, and it's all downhill, so it's like, you can't even see the ground, you can't even see my feet there guys. We're nearly there though, we are nearly there. This has been a bit of a sketchy way down. It's not easy. I think the cave just is, uh, it's just there, I think. Yeah, it looks like it, babe. Right, I'm gonna bring you back as we uh, as we get down then, guys. Let's go. Find out, guys. I can see me. Oh, do you know what I forgot? What? The torch. Oh, great, babe. Again. I'm gonna have to run up and get it. Well, I'll wait down there then. Alright. Um, oh dear. This is what we're going through, guys. So we have to no. deal with. It's just dangerous to get to. This is... Oh, we're nearly out. We made it, guys. Got this here. And some we'll collect some more plastic. It's good to see. Alright. I'm gonna go and check the entrance guys, but I'm gonna have to go back up and uh, and get the torch unfortunately. <laughs> I'm gonna try and go up a different way up this way. <laughs> So that's why we just come down there, guys. We looked up there uh, and then down this little gorgy bit here and then through all that. Which doesn't look deep, but that's as deep as me in some places. And even at the shortest places, it's well past my uh, my knees. Strong smell on this beach, though, isn't there? So Sawney Bean, along with his cannibalistic family, butchered and ate up to a thousand victims during their regime of terror, which lasted for 25 years. They were eventually captured and executed, while some do argue that the legend is just a tale, others do believe that this is roots of real events to what happened. Guys, see if we can have a look in. Torch in my exploring bag, not in my camping bag, it would help. So it's quite a tight entrance here by the looks of it, guys. I thought it would be a lot bigger in regards to the entrance. I'm surprised to think that this is going to be a mile deep. Let's go and check it out. Who lived in a cave on the Scottish coast, a 
Kid was dead, go knock him on the head. Look! <laughs> oh, be careful, babe. That's quite a climb, that's cutting this. It's a pretty big boulder there, isn't it, jamming it? You get a torch out. To the cave, babe. Back a little bit this way. Piece of wood there. A chopping board. <laughs> a little way there, but I don't think you're gonna get in that one. Wow, look at this, guys. That is quite. It's not a big, big opening cave. That's the earliest one I've seen, 19. They were here. What's the date today? So and what? What's that? 1986, Jimmy Bill. No, it says 99986. Oh. We go further down. It says a mile, but I can't understand it being a mile. It looks like it goes to an well, end here. It won't livable. Ow! No, this is the end, babe. It's nowhere near a mile, but it's quite big. Not unless it's through the other entrance there. Another bit we couldn't get through. How people lived in stuff like this. You could probably come and spend a night in this, but. <sighs> They're probably cool to spend a night just to see. Nothing down there, no. No, that's dead end. Dead end. Yeah. This is like a little room, isn't it? This is probably where they like a chair bit here. <laughs> Mad isn't it? on the rocks look that they're alien-y in these sea caves you know, because of the wear of the water and stuff um, a few more here so 1956 
the 86. Two thousand five, nineteen eighty three. That paint there. What's that? Oh. Is that a bee? What? No, it's a fly. Thank you. What? Ah. That say, watch my head. Can't see the bloody ceiling. <laughs> You're all right, you can stand up. <laughs> it's mad how a whole family is still living in this. saying here there's a little bit here but it's really hard to squeeze through it's the dark <laughs> careful you don't get stuck Goes further? Yep, all the way down there. Are we going in? What? Go on then babe, I'm following you. Can you get can you get further? Yeah, but it's a very tight squeeze eh, babe. Is it? <laughs> See most of the people that have been in this cave have not been down here. Alright, well, it's alright babe, it doesn't go any further. Oh, is it not? Do you want to take this and take it to have a look? Yeah. Be careful. Oh, my knees. Right, I'll put my phone there. I haven't got You got it? Yeah. Is it on? Yeah. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I'm stuck here. Do you have it on me? Right. No, it don't go any further, it goes right down there. Oh, bloody bullshit, something people put. It's supposed to be a mile deep, this. <laughs> no, I it's think it is, cave. but it would not fit a bull for a human. <laughs> because even I struggled and I'm only tiny. You in like a little cavern bit there? Yeah, but it's only. Look around and like, have a look at me, babe. <sighs> <laughs> right. Check Ross out. I'm going to have to try and turn around. <laughs> Can you see it? Oh. <laughs> ah, I can't even move. <laughs> right. You're passing me back. I'll take it out. out myself. <laughs> oh. uh. Right. Bloody hell. Let me get this. Yeah, I'll come back and get it now. Right, we'll go back to the camera.
Gaumenzu dich. Oh, <laughs> that was tight, that guy's. Oh, oh, we oh, tried look. for you. Someone's clothes. Yeah, don't shine the light. Put for on it. It's uh, like a jeans look. Yeah, but I think there's not going to be any left remains of the. Don't you know? Thing is, nah, because it was years ago. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Oh, I've got sweat on now because of that. What? Yeah, I've got sweat on now because of that. Uh, yeah. Wow. Let's go and get the stuff. That was oh. a tight squeeze. Yeah. Oh. It's okay, it's okay. God, I've got sweat on now, getting through that little hole. We tried for you guys. And uh, I think Donna got to a dead end in it, so you see more than me. <laughs> Coming back out now, then, guys. Beautiful view. Where are you, babe? No! Ah! Yeah, babe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> and so, there seem to be two different versions of how the Sawney Bean family ended. And the most common of the two is that the Bean Clan were captured alive, where they gave up without a fight. They were taken in chains to the Tollbooth Jail in Edinburgh, then transferred to Leith or Glasgow. They were promptly executed without trial, as they were seen as subhuman or unfit for one. Sawney and his fellow men had their genitals cut off and thrown into the fires. Their hands and feet were severed, and they were left to bleed to death, with Sawney shouting his dying words, It isn't over it will never be over. After watching the men die, Agnes, his fellow woman, and the children were burned alive on the stakes from which they were tied to. There were another claim that gunpowder was placed in the entrance of the cave where they were faced the fate of suffocation. So I had read stories that this cave was a mile deep, which, I mean, clearly going in there, guys, and we, we explored all, all areas and all access points, and it was definitely not a mile. I would be surprised to see that 40 odd people could actually fit in this cave, in all fairness. But if the second part of the ending was to be true, and the, the cave was blown up with yeah, gunpowder, that, that could probably explain well, that. They've come down there. Hi right guys, we're heading back up now. Back up this way. It's a nice easier route. Not going through that bloody jungle. No, no. Oh yeah, it's just took off again to see if I can get it. Around that little bit there, isn't it? Get up here now, guys. Oh, just take it out of you. It's alright. Just this bit is quite steep. There's a dodgy bit just up here, a little bit, but it's not too bad. 
it's not as bad as what we got down. <laughs> but anyway, um, myth or fact, who knows? It was a great story nevertheless, um, a great area to visit. Uh, I'd highly recommend so. And uh, yeah, guys, let me know what you think in the comments on this story. Do you think it is a myth that's been, you, you know, dragged throughout time as just folklore and stories? Or is this something based on real events? Um, one theory of mine is, is yeah. that the English, because uh, this was a record in a London yeah, prison, believe it or not, um, Nasty, maybe made it? this story up to keep people from going up into Scotland, oh. uh, to fear of the Scots and the wildness ways, but uh, an over-exaggerated story it's with it. Now. But who knows? Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Oh. Alright guys, we're back now. Thanks for joining us on this uh, little adventure trip today. Until the next adventure, Don't see you in the next video. <laughs> it's a whole personal gym. <laughs> <gasps> Don't need a gym doing that. Though. I thought you know I've got a sweat on. <laughs> Bye, Liz. Bye. We'll be looking for you in the street.